I couldn't be any happier with her. I think she's in brilliant form. I started out riding as an amateur for, for uh, Miss Harrington when I finished school back in 96 uh, and then I was there for a good few years. I went to America base, and I was based over in California for a year. When I came back home then um, I set up a kind of breaking and pre-training yard and developed on to go training then in, year, in 2010. Look, we've kind of built up the better class of horses as we're going along, you know. We've been we've been lucky. We've, we've, every year we've kind of come upon a, a nice horse that's bringing us to the big meetings. Like um, probably one of the earlier ones was a filly called Shop Deja. She won a grade a grade three for St Punchestown Festival, and she bought, she also brought us over to Cheltenham. She finished fifth in the mayor's hurdle one year. And um, then we had uh, a horse called the Pride of the Art going by my brother. He won a couple of graded races, and uh, we're lucky enough then a wee star owned owned by my sister and. and her husband Anthony and he he won a great tour for us. Uh, Looking recent times as was Peregrine Run has been the flag bearer for the yard and he's won plenty, numerous graded races. I think he's won 15 or 16 races in total. We're lucky to have him as well and he's still on the go. But um, look at thank God we've after finding on Royal Cahal at the moment, you know. With the winning ways syndicate, we're, we're kind of focusing on getting fillies um, because it's just uh, our budget kind of it's easier to buy a nicer filly for the budget we have and we've been lucky enough with them, you know, so hopefully it may continue. Look, I enjoy having fillies, you know, I enjoy training the filly. Picked her up in the, in the Derby sale um, with Oren Crean, he's the head of the, the Winning Way Syndicate, and um, on the day we just loved her, loved her attitude. And she had a great walk to her and she was by Flemingsford, you know, she, she looks more like a gelding, to be honest, she's a very big, tall filly, and um, progressed along, and it was this time last year she went and she ran in a winner's bumper in Nace and she ran a cracker. Oren Crean actually he'd been involved in Brave Inca um, and l luckily enough for me I suppose when Colin Murphy retired I'd say it was four, sure four years ago now they moved their horses to me so we got three or four off them at the uh, initially and then um, we won with a couple of them and we're lucky enough then we went and we bought Philly for them and she won a bumper and then we ended up our next one I suppose Royal Cahala you know so we've been lucky enough Orden he, he, dishes, he dishes out all the information he lays it all back to the syndicate members he does actually a fantastic job on it Covid wasn't around. I suppose it used to come down once a month, and that we'd have days here for them and look after them as well as we could. But um, it's a, it's a, as syndicates go, it's very well run. We zoom meeting two Mondays ago, and we we're chatting about it. The twos and froze about going to Cheltenham or waiting for Ferry House. It came back as a vote was I think it was 62 for Cheltenham. So that's when we decided like that's it. We'll train our way for Cheltenham and see how see how things work out. But at least everyone everyone had their say that night in the zoom meeting, and we had a good conversation about it. And, Look, I suppose when you're, you're favoured for the mayor's hurdle, it'd be madness to, to leave her at home and sit in the fence for, for another meeting. Disappointed she got beat, I thought she'd win. Um, look at it, a few little niggly things afterwards came to light with her, and I think we've rectified them all. And like, I suppose like we're beating fair and square in the day, and the, the weights are probably turned back around in our favour going back to Cheltenham. Look at it, I suppose it, definitely after her last run, I was a little bit disappointed. I think she, we have her in a better position now. She'd done a good bit last uh, Friday, I think it was in the Curra and she might go and do one little breeze away from home before she runs just to see how she's weight wise more than anything but um, she's grubbing great, she looks great in her coat, her summer coat's coming through so I actually couldn't be any happier the way she is at the moment.